So our brief sojourn at the top of the world comes to an end. We're heading toward the renowned Gairanga Fjord that we've just viewed from a height and stop for one last look. Majestic. The lookout at Dalsnipa, right at the summit of the mountain. Well, there's uh, a lot of snow up here. And, uh, you know, the thing I always want to do here, make a snowball. Gairanga is at the foot of this mountain, so all we need to do is drive down. The good news is that the drive down involves driving through some of the most awesome Norwegian vistas that take one's breath away. It's Monday 17th of June and the lakes are still frozen. Snow all around and the camera can't get close to showing what we saw and experienced. It was a magical hour. The road we travel stretches before us. It's about an hour's drive that included a number of photocalls and the scenery was non-stop wow all the way. The DJI pocket helping me to get steady shots out the window. Mountain streams flow down the steep inclines. The hills striated by waterfall erosion. That's Dalsnipper Skywalk up there. We're halfway down. The whole trip down was a succession of beautiful views of mountains, waterfalls, lakes and the fjord. One might ask where all the water is coming from. Has it been raining? The simple answer is that it's melted snow. The water cascading down the mountain is doing a dance of freedom. Having been frozen all winter, it now skips joyfully down the mountain, energized happy and free down to the fjord below. When we arrive above Gairanga, we just stop and gaze a while.
cruise ships reminding us that it's not a lake, it's an arm of the sea. The open sea being 50 miles away. Thus the attraction of cruising through the fjords. Sailing through this natural paradise and getting a bird's eye view of it all. There's the historic Union Hotel below. Gairanga Fjord has long been the most famous of all the fjords. Here the cascading water has, over centuries of wear and tear, formed the Uvet, a channel through which the liberated water breaks forth violently. Meanwhile, Gunnar, the strongest man in Norway, bends a foot-thick steel post. He's a member of the notorious Scandinavian tribe, the Vandals, though he denied it. So we arrive and take a look at Geiranger. with a few thousand others. A very pretty town. A very enjoyable visit. Eidsdal, Balsdal, Gairanga, here we come. Guna lives in western Norway, and nowhere on this trip is very far from home. As a result, many of these places are very familiar to Guna, and are places that even I have visited several times, and that I would certainly want to visit again. This is the heart of the fjords, and Gairanga is one of the places where the arms of the sea touch the heart of Norway. In past times, enormous deep glaciers carved out these valleys and were so heavy they eroded the bottoms of the valleys far below sea level before melting, thus allowing the waters of the sea to penetrate the valleys, and thus the fjords were created. Beautiful love childs of that opportunist, the sea, The largest ocean-going liners pass this way and anchor where the glacier once entered. Fjords are very deep, so it's no problem to accommodate these ships. This platform gives us the opportunity to get a great view that's the renowned Seven Sisters Waterfall. <laughs> 